bit about the company, who we are. Um, it's a clean fuel and power systems company, um, creating new energy and power technologies for our partners, which is a key. Um, and we make fuel cells um, that are versatile, robust, efficient, etc. Um, designed from the outset for volume manufacture. And um, we've created fuel purification and reforming technologies um, which interface with existing fuel infrastructures um, to accelerate the transition to a cleaner uh, world. So um, hopefully that's succinct enough. Um, in terms of our history, um, we actually have one of the founders of the business here today, who's over there with um, quite a revolting tie on, but there we are. Um, uh, 1988, um, research started at university, um, and uh, 1995, as you can see, um, uh, a spin off company was formed called Advanced Power Systems, which was then over, uh, taken over or, or bought, as the case may be, by an Intelligent Energy uh, in 2001. So, uh, as a, it's now a, an unlisted PLC um, and has been such since 2001. Um, and currently, we have 100 employees. Um, <coughs> Uh, Loughborough, um, Albuquerque um, in the US, uh, Long Beach near LA and um, we have an office in London with, with representation in um, uh, South Africa and in uh, Japan. Um, this is in simple terms what we make, um, fuel cells, um, PEM fuel cells. Um, and the power range is interesting, comes from very small to 75 kilowatts. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, the, the way they're designed is for, it's for high volume, low cost manufacture. So the source or the core materials um, are, are easy to get and, and easy to scale up. I think sometimes the problem you have with, with companies, which Adam was referring to earlier, is um, that um, you, are, you, know, you have designs come in, but they're, they're just not thought through in, in terms of how you could mass manufacture how you can get it to market, how <laughs> how you can actually make money, which is at the end of the day the purpose of being a business. Um, another differentiating factor for us is uh, why we're different is as um, apart from having source materials which are um, we, we can get easily, the actual balance of plant for our kit is significantly less than that of our uh, competitors. Um, you can see there on the left is a fuel cell system which is um, of the ilk which our competitors would have. On the right there is ours. You know, it is um, similarly power dense as our competitors but it's simple and when it's simple um, it reduces cost especially when you note that the raw materials we use um, are easy to obtain second strand of our business um, is what I referred to earlier is um, the facility to create um, a clean fuel. Um, what, what we have in our Long Beach facility is, is what we call a HESTIA or a hydrogen refueling unit which actually effectively reforms uh, fossil fuel at the, um, the petrol station. That's the concept. Um, and so r rather than having a, an underlying infrastructure in situ or change, an infrastructure change, which is what um, often the complaint is about um, the use of hydrogen as a, as a fuel source, um, this strand of our business actually reforms fossil fuel um, at the refueling station itself. Um, so you don't have to change the underlying infrastructure. You don't have to, as, as the, as the Sort of doom, doom and gloom merchants say change you know, the pipes in the ground because the constituent features of hydrogen are different from that of, of uh, fossil fuel petrol. So that's, that's over in the US. Um, one of the key features of our business, which we again we think is saleable and it's proven to be so, is, is that we um, have modular platforms. Um, by way of background, I'm a uh, for want of a better phrase, cross-border finance lawyer who trained in the city, but I, for my sins, spent five years at Rolls-Royce, where I was a, one of the company treasurers. Um, one of the mantras at Rolls-Royce, which we've shamelessly nicked, is to design once and deploy many times. 
and simply what we've done in our business is is, is taking that mantra and designed underlying fuel cell stacks, power sources, and scale them up, scale them down for different markets. And you can see here that on the right hand side, um, we've got a series of applications which I'll come on to in a minute. But you can also see here the value chain from um, the uh, unit I've just referred to, which um, reforms fuel at the forecourt to the actual underlying power sources which may be emotive applications which are emission, emissions free at the point of use. So um, back on the, the um, talk of scaling up, um, scaling down, you can see here, I mean that's a, a basically a diagram of our competitors and, and the power ranges they work in. Um, I think uh, Rolls-Royce fuel cell systems is one uh, megawatt plus so we've not put them up there. Um, but with our with our modular systems, you know, at the range of 50 watts or or 100 watts, you can have, um, you know, you're in the market with with laptop batteries, um, which is is coming along quite nicely. At the one one kilowatt, you're perhaps in the market of of, of motorbikes or backup power and remote areas. Um, once you get up to Five kilowatts, ten kilowatts. You're looking at uh, vehicles, and recently we um, demonstrated a Peugeot H20 Partner Orange van just uh, just around this building, actually, which is composed of uh, it's a ten, ten kilowatt system. Um, but it's, there are a large number of markets to feed here, and with our business model, we have the facility to feed them because we've designed once and deployed, hopefully, many times. Our business model, we seek to partner, um, we recognise we're a mouse, we look to jump on the shoulders of um, proverbial gorilla um, who faces the market and well, what they want from us we, we assume is the facility to get to a, a new market quickly. Well we have the underlying technology, they have the customer base, um, we have the <coughs> facility to allow them to scale up which we would hope they would undertake, and they have investment capital which um, assists, assists them, assists us. Um, fundamental to our business model is the ability to, to take one sector, for example the motive sector, and take the IP accretion or growth we, we get from development opportunities in that area and utilise it in the aerospace and defence sector and similar. So IP is constantly coming back to the hub of the business and being utilised in different sectors. Um, we have t four target market sectors, motive, aerospace and defence, oil and gas, um, and distribution generation and portable power. Um, and these are just some examples of how our products are deployed. Um, I'll give you specific examples in a minute, but you know, on the left we have uh, a two-wheel bike, um, we've developed with Suzuki, um, I think that's the car park with respect to the van behind this building and that's a Boeing aeroplane which has just recently flown in March powered by 1.6 kilowatt hydrogen fuel cell.